everyone. This is Elliot Serrano for the Chicago Red Eye and geek to me coming to you from the Wizard World Chicago Comic Con in Rosemont. Now, you think that's impressive? That I mean, you actually memorized all that, all that, actually. That through, and that through. energy you used Thank was you. very vibrant. Thank you. It sucked Thank me you. in, you know? <laughs> I go, this is what made Wizard World for me. Thank you. You. Oh. <laughs> awesome. I am with uh, Lisa Marie Varen. Varen. I, I always want to say Varone. I know Varen. a lot of people. Varen. Varen. Yeah. And, but also known as Tara from TNA Wrestling, as well as Victoria from WWE. B- Victoria, which is when I first discovered That's fine. you. You can in call me WWE. Victoria. No, no, no. But Lisa Marie. Fine. Okay. Because um, I've interviewed quite a few uh, wrestlers, mm-hmm. and you would be, um, you've been both a WWE diva and a TNA knockout. Yes. I like knockout. I do, too. I like that. It's more aggressive. It is very aggressive. Right? Diva's a little bit too... Princessy. A little princessy. Yeah, I think so too. I, I wasn't like big, big. I never, when I was there, I never claimed to be a diva. Remember that? I was yeah, very anti diva. Yeah. Very anti diva. Yeah, so I, I beat up all the newcomers. You had some of the best gimmicks. I liked the um, the sort psycho, of psycho yes. gimmick, which was yes. kind of fun. Was yes, kinda fun. I've had med- medication since. <laughs> no, but I, I, that was actually my favorite favorite character uh-huh. and um, I which is scary is I played it too well I didn't even have to rehearse <laughs> which was kind of that's how I got the character was like they were like you look really psychotic when you wrestle and I yeah. go I'm actually very intense yeah that's, I get that you're getting it confused but then I just went with it you know awesome. Stevie Richards start, and I started working together and so I just, I really love that and then it, the bad thing is they tr- turned me good guy with uh, no explanation. Yeah. The face turns. Yeah, those sudden I, face turns don't. I, I, I yeah. wasn't a big fan because no. it never explained why Why wasn't I psychotic anymore. There was no explanation. Well, so, you could have, you should, all you needed was a moment where you pull out like a little bottle with the, That or you know. a therapy session. That's it. Or yeah, shock the, therapy. Shock therapy. And, um, that would have been a great I, that, well, I wasn't a big fan, but, you know, in wrestling you just go with the flow. Right. You know, what can you do? What can you do? You know, but I had a good nine-year run with WWE, and I'm very lucky – and one of the blessed ones that lasted long, you right. know. So, but was planning on ending my career there. Um, really didn't have any plans on going to TNA. I'll be honest with you. But I was a huge fan of Awesome Kong. Okay. Who we've, and uh, we've had? You have interviewed. Yeah, she's great. Um, I'll be honest with you. That's what drew me to TNA. Yeah. One girl I wanted to have a feud with before I retired was Kong, and their schedule was much more lenient than WWE, uh-huh. and that's what really drew me. To their division because it wasn't cookie cutter women. It was like ODB. You right. get like you know, you know, she was a redneck beer drinking girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Kong the monster, uh, Daphne the crazy psychotic goth girl. I mean, it just was uh-huh. very unique, uh-huh. unique group of girls, and it was honestly it was creative control too. So I mean, they came. You know, of course, I didn't decide that spider gimmick wasn't my idea. You know, I came to, sh- you know, I carried a tarantula uh-huh. to the ring and it wasn't my idea. They just. Was it your tarantula? No, or it wasn't. Or they just found one? No, said, no. They were like, uh, the there ring. was a guy there <laughs> with three tarantulas and said, are you Tara? And I go, oh, yeah, that's my new name. Yes, yeah. I'm Tara. They're like, yeah, these are for you. And I go, Tara is short for tarantula. tarantula. I get it. Okay. Yeah. I was known as Black Widow. Right. And. I, it, I didn't get it, but the kids loved it, right. so I went with it. Right. I, I'm not afraid of them anymore, but... Yeah, and you know, they are generally very docile they're very, creatures, yeah, very. So you don't have to worry, um, actually, as long as you don't startle it or You don't anything. startle it, yeah. or you drop it, they explode like light bulbs. Oh, no, yeah, and you didn't I know. have that happen, did you? No, oh. no, 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 PETA would be all over my butt. All over, really? Yeah, <laughs> but it's, it was, it's, it's been an incredible journey, you know, I'm very... It, when I talk about it, like, on these kind of interviews... Yeah. It's amazing what I've done. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, it is. Like, it is. I feel like I should be 80 years old for all, all the things I have experienced. <laughs> oh, my God. Although I feel like when I wake up in the morning at 80 years old hey. sometimes. but You don't look 80. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Look, you. I, I, I like, get, you know what, though? I like to say I'm like fine wine. I get better with age. Way so, better. Way you know, better. There's girls I do have to compete with that are in their 20s. And yeah. I'm shocked how out of shape 20-year-olds are compared to I'm about to turn 40. And I'm in the best shape of my life, which is shocking to me. I don't yeah. know. Muscle maturity? I don't know. You, uh, I don't well, know. Brett Favre will say the same thing. That's yeah, same thing. I really do. Most pro athletes say that they're, they're better shape At their shape prime? Right. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree with yeah. that. And you're very comfortable with, in your own skin at an older age, yeah. too. Not as insecure when you get in this business. So... So, you, you're, you know, right now you're doing this tour. You're here at the Comic-Con. Uh-huh. Um, before we came on camera, you know... 
you said you weren't really doing it for the money because it's not the, no, big, I, the biggest deal, but no. uh, like what, what have you been up to now? I've been training actually um, in the MMA world. Okay. Uh, you probably didn't, I, we didn't talk about that. Um, I've been, when I did retire from WWE, which I never technically said retire, when I, when I had my last match at WWE, I cannot be the in-house wife kind of gal that eats bonbons and just goes <laughs> to play bridge. I Does had anyone to, eat bonbons uh, anymore? I don't know. Is that even existing, I don't actually? Know. I, think it's, yeah. I think I just aged myself again. <laughs> um, but you know, I, I had to get involved with something with activity and stuff like that. But so I saw uh, MMA, a gym. Though. I know, but no, no, uh. this didn't start off as MMA. Yeah. I started taking jujitsu. Right. Got, you know, since pro wrestling is very similar, we're just more exaggerated version of it. Right. Um, I became I very good painful. at it. Huh? I think MMA is a little more painful. Yes, then I started taking boxing. Yeah. And then um, I am a huge fan of MMA, UFC, right. all that, right. and Strike Force, and started taking boxing, and I got really good at that. And the guys go, You never thought about doing MMA? I go, Actually, I think I'd be good at it. Uh-huh. And then all the whole sudden, the whole gym found out about this. Now I don't get a day off. <laughs> and coming away from this, I mean, coming to Chicago Comic Con. Yeah. Yeah. They were like, well, what are you doing? MMA pe- trainers, uh, I mean, actually, MMA people do not take a day off. Yeah. They train four hours a day. And I go, well, I got to, you know, I'm booked on this convention. I like to mingle with the fans that, right. you know, yeah, I do enjoy these. Yeah. You know, you, you live in a bubble as a wrestler. You don't know how many people you really touch. And I, I'm i a big fan. of. I'm, I'm a little geek at heart, you know. So, you know, I, I love it. You know, but I, and See, also my, my my boy crush is getting that much stronger right is now. Is it really? Yes. Or am I bursting his bubble? I don't know. Gosh. <laughs> no, 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 no. But you know, also Chicago too. I have an appointment with a realtor, so I'm I'm, I'm thinking about moving back to the Windy City, Chicago. Awesome. Here, I used to live here a few years back. Used to own a restaurant in Lombard, uh-huh. Illinois, and it was called Nikki's Gyro. So I don't even know if it exists it any is it, it exists anymore. Right. And um, Think about moving back and um, doing another restaurant. Um, I don't know. I used to live on 400 East Randolph. Okay. You know, with a bubble pool. Yep. And yep. also lived in Lombard okay. and uh, North North End. Um, I love the city. It's so, the people here are so genuine and nice. And it's a clean version of New York. It's like the city life. <laughs> I mean, you don't need a car. Yeah. yeah. And I just, I really do miss it. I really do. And so we miss you. Aww, we miss you. Thanks. It would be really cool to like walk into the Whole Foods one day and see you with like, not like Whole a basket. Foods, the food. I'm in a restaurant. I want to open a restaurant. You Why mean, not you to mean, say not like oh. if you're shopping one day at the Whole Foods, oh, like yeah? going for like groceries and and we run into each yeah. other in the produce aisle. They, they, actually, I get that a lot. People are like, "Oh, you look like that wrestling chick on TV," <laughs> and I go, um, "Oh yeah, who's that?" And yeah, I, I always yeah. joke with them a little yeah. bit, and I go, "Oh, that's me." They're like, "Well, what are you doing at the?" They don't think we have a normal life where <laughs> we go to, we go to the grocery store. Um, you know, I usually tweet a lot. You right. know, it's under at least real it's at, at real Lisa Marie. That's me. Right. Um, that that I'm going to go clean, do the laundry, uh, clean the <laughs> toilets and stuff. And they think I have toilets? like toilets. Seriously, Get out. did I just burst your bubble again? No, no, no. It's not like we have no, a no, maid. No. See, now you're maid, right. A maid for us, or a cook, or no, you know, I, I'm. I'm normal, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Um, I'd feel guilty if I had someone come clean after me. You know what I mean? Oh, that's great. That's I, I did great. try the maid thing once, and what did I do? Clean before she came over. <laughs> I don't want her to think I'm a slob. I, I, I'm trying to impress the maid. She'd be thinking, oh, these, these oh entertainment types. Oh. This chick, oh, my God, See, I dirty. Clean, I clean up my hotel room before I leave. So do I. Every, every time. I hate it. I, I'm very organized on that. I am. Me too. I'm just... Wow. I just, wow. uh, yeah, I'm so, big. I even take out the towels and say I need fresh towels, and then they don't even clean my room. I do it myself until I check out. <laughs> God, what's wrong? That's is that you isn't re- that a disease or something? No, no. I think you know. I, some folks call it OCD. I, I think call it, it might being be considerate. OCD. I, call uh, it being I do too. I do too. I call it being considerate. Yeah, me too. Me too. But so. um, I don't know. Also, like people are asking me. When I moved to Chicago, what's going to happen? I yeah. own Black Widow Customs in Louisville. I pimp out rides. Right. And uh, I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen to that. We might still own that and move. But I don't know. Honestly. Franchising? Is it, no, you know, 
I don't know. We, I really haven't thought about that. Um, one business to own is enough. I mean, honestly, it's 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 it's, it's a lot of work, and um, I I'd like to put my heart and soul into one. How can you spread yourself so thin to have a whole bunch? I don't know, but you never know. Yeah. Honestly, me, I'm very flighty. My mom calls me a gypsy. Where the heck are you moving now? I'm just like. <laughs> I'll decide tomorrow I want to be a pilot. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I'm also taking DJ lessons. I'm just, what the <laughs> heck is wrong with I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Seriously, I'm like a big kid. Don't grow up. I, That's yes. the secret. Don't it, grow up. I agree. I haven't grown up. I, I haven't either. I haven't I, grown up. I, I haven't know. either, and I refuse to. There you go. You know? Because which is why I still have my boy crush. I still do. Do you? Because I haven't grown up yet. Oh. That's so so nice. will you will Makes you go to feel good. will you go to the, the the senior prom with me? I will. Would you would you, you want to do the senior pose where the I'm like this? Pose? Yeah. <laughs> Remember, like you have your hand yeah, in the yeah. corsage. Yeah. Yes. Oh, pin oh a corsage. my goodness! I want to pin a corsage. I did not pin my corsage. You oh. know what? This is a funny story. People do not know about in high school. Actually, a lot of my tweeters know because I post up my right. high school pictures. I used to be blonde. Wow. I'm not blonde. Wait, I'm, you're not, you, you I'm were not, doing the. I did the sun in bottle back then. Do you remember sun in? Do they yeah. still make it? They still make it? I poured the whole bottle on my head and laid out in the sun and it turned oh, orange. Yeah. And I go, oh, I like this. This oh. is bronzy copper. Oh, it was hideous. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you go on my Twitter, I just posted my prom be picture. A, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's pretty funny. The real Lisa Marie. Yeah, no, not the. the, the, the at real Lisa real, Marie. No underscores. No underscores. Just real Lisa Marie. Real, at real Lisa Marie. That's my Twitter. Twitter.com yeah. slash at real Lisa Marie. That's me. See her prom pictures. <laughs> my prom pictures. It, Which are die. different from these oh pictures. But, but I mean, this, it's all a facade here. It's like, you know, um, you're talking to it like, you know, people look at these are like, wow, you look really sexy in this. And it's really hard for me to hear that I'm sexy because I'm such a tomboy. Get out. Really? It's all a facade. I'm sorry, wow. but I'm like, I like, you know, to wow. play baseball, get wow. dirty, ride, you know, my bikes. Um, okay. I'm into cars. I'm like, wow, really wow. sad, huh? No, not at all. No? It's awesome. Even Actually, more Actually, I'm awesome. like even growing his boy crush more. That's, that's huge. I mean, I want to ask you, I'd ask you to marry me right now if no. I knew you weren't already married. Aw, thanks, See? thanks. But this has been a great <laughs> interview. Well, thank you. And, um, and you know, um, I can't. I'm starving. I say. He buys me lunch. What do okay. you guys say? We're going to lunch. We're and going then, to lunch. And then I'm going to get the corsage for the That's prom. That's it. That's awesome. it. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for having me, guys. And I can't wait to see you guys when I move back to Chicago, the Windy City. I'm so excited. I am, too. So for Lisa Marie Varon, I'm Elliot Serrano, and this has been Geek to Me.